My name is Eric Schwass. I'm standing in the French drawing room at the Hillwood Museum and Gardens, a room that Marjorie Merriweather Post decorated with artwork and furniture from 18th century France. If you've ever been in a room that sort of transported you to a different era, then you know what I'm feeling right now. A kind of eerie sense that I've stepped into a time machine. I'm looking at a massive tapestry on the wall, and if you're in the room, you really can't miss it. It's part of a series called The Italian Festivals, and it was designed by the court painter Francois Boucher in 1736. There are so many characters in the tapestry, and so many activities going on, that I want to find out more. I'm here with Liana Paredes, the chief curator at Hillwood and curator of Western art, to tell me a little bit about it. Liana, what is Boucher doing with this piece? He sort of recreates, for the enjoyment of the aristocratic society, some very elegant scenes and idealized scenes of a country fair, right? So on the left-hand side, you have a very funny vignette of what a booth or, or an installation of a charlatan would have been at one of those uh, sort of market uh, fairs and he's selling cosmetics uh, and he has this lady a beautiful young lady with great complexion you know sitting next to him as an advertisement for his sort of for uh, secret formulas, beauty formulas, and uh, there is a monkey, you know, there are all these kinds of anecdotal things uh, surfacing. And the other side, on the right-hand side, there's a more classicizing scene in the veins of the gallant scenes that Vato and uh, later Boucher were presenting of sort of idealized couples in a country setting. I see the two lovers sitting in the foreground here, and there are some people playing horns off to the left. But what's going on right here? Right here in the middle? Oh yes, there is at the center the forerunner of the Ma uh, Magic Lantern Show, and uh, those really were very popular through the 19th century. And in the 18th century they consisted on that kind of squarish box, as you've seen in the tapestry. And uh, on the foreground, you notice the operator pulling the strings, and uh, so the, the the artifact consisting of the operator will pull strings, and it was like a precursor of a slideshow, and images will pop up and down this this sort of camera obscura or dark box, so that someone could peep from the other side and see all kinds of things, and typically. You know, there would be ship wreckages and, and uh, big s thunderstorms at sea and all kinds of sort of magnificent images, you know, of the powers of nature, of curious things uh, of the world, etc. So what did Mrs. Post think of these tapestries? Mrs. Post loved tapestry and I think it's very apparent when you go through the house. There are tapestry upholster furniture all over. Yes, this room is filled with it. So what purpose did the room serve for Mrs. Post? It was a place where uh, visitors uh, came to have a drink before dinner and where uh, they normally spent about half an hour there. Everything in this house was very regulated and uh, they would spend about half, hour, uh, half an hour having cocktails and she would talk about her French collection. So that room was the core of her French collection, just that the I icon room is so... Russian. So this is a place Mrs. Post set aside for her guests to have a little fun. And that's just what the tapestry embodies, the light-hearted feeling of people at leisure. This audio file was produced by Melissa Diaz, Michelle Hammer, and me, Eric Schwass. The music you heard was La Pothios de Lully, composed in 1724 by Francois Couperin and performed by the Jaffa Baroque Ensemble. 
It's available on archive.org. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you at Hillwood. Thank you.